I am a big fan of pamphlet. Um, I think it almost sounds onomatopoeic. I think if I shook a pamphlet under, under your nose, then uh, you'd, you'd hear the word pamphlet, even in the act of it. I think that probably is my favorite word. Do you have, Do you a, have a favorite word? So I was thinking about this, and I don't know that I have a favorite word, but I have words that get stuck in my head like an <laughs> earworm, like a song. Mm. Um, and the one that I don't think has left my head since I first let, read Lord of the Rings in middle school was the name Saruman. And I think I have oh. had the name Saruman in my head over and over again <laughs> for, for decades. That's all I could think of. That's, I mean, if that was a character in Lord of the Rings, that would be very sinister that that is the name that's just threaded through your experience of for the my world. entire life. Yeah. That's interesting because actually one of the words from the Lord of the Rings that I, that as you say, kind of earworms as a verb, um, palantir, oh. uh, just that's such a, a beautiful word to say. It has such a spring to it, as you say it. And I think that's now being used by a tech company for, um, I'm going to get this wrong, but I think uh, online meetings mm -hmm. um, and the idea that it has this new life uh with something that i probably now associate more with with admin rather than this sense of extraordinary scrying from between uh different topographies um yeah words having new agency and, and new life